Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Good evening. You're watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. First, the headlines. The Ministry of Tourism signs a number of agreements with various banks working in the Sultanate to finance projects that acquired licenses from the Ministry. The Minister of Tourism reveals a plan to establish an office for conferences with the aim to attract international events to the Sultanate. And the third international conference for Arabic language and literature discusses at Sultan Qaboos University the modern criticism curricula and its applications in texts. Those were the headlines and now for the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has sent a cable of greetings to His Excellency President Michael Daniel Higgins of Ireland on his country's National Day. Within the framework of growth and development of fields of work of small and medium-sized enterprises, the Ministry of Tourism signed a number of agreements and memoranda of understanding with various banks working in the Sultanate. The agreement stated that the banks will finance the projects that acquired licenses from the Ministry of Tourism, as well as to contribute in training of small and medium-sized enterprises owners and to support the initiatives that serve the local community. They will also provide necessary technical and financial consultations to ensure the project's su success. This step was considered as a continuation of efforts exerted by the Ministry of Tourism to support and encourage small and medium enterprises to invest in the tourism sector. There is a plan to establish an office for conferences with the aim to attract international events and conferences to the Sultanate. That was announced by His Excellency Ahmed bin Nasser Al Maharzi, Minister of Tourism, who also mentioned that there is no change in the budget allocated for promotion for the Ministry of Tourism. Promotion was kept as it was, as the Ministry is endeavouring on a tourism strategy. The Office for Conferences will, comp will comprise a supervising committee encompassing the private sector and main government bodies to make collective efforts bringing together all elements involved in tourism and its services. His Excellency the Minister of Tourism also mentioned that the Ministry started to receive applications for establishing new tourism utilities, namely heritage hostels, guest houses and green motels, saying that the aim is to open the way for the Omani youth to enter this field. He said heritage hostels can be set up where, wherever there is an ancient structure that can be renovated to be used, taking into consideration the environment and the location. With regard to green motels, coordination will be done with the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries Wealth, which will start to give initial approval, as it does not want to give approval for any activity that will limit agricultural development. And with regard to guest houses, approvals will be given for them to be in the areas where there are no hotel facilities. Modern Criticism Curricula and its Applications in Texts was the subject of the third international conference for Arabic Language and Literature Department at Sultan Qaboos University. The conference, which witnessed participation of critics, writers and poets, focused on reading Omani and Arabic poems with the aim of providing educational subject in the field of poetry criticism. The inauguration ceremony of the conference was presided over by His Excellency Dr. Abdul Munam bin Mansour al Minister of Information. Eyes Medical Simulation is the first of its kind of training program which uses virtual reality devices in eye simulation surgery using dry techniques and histology. The program, which was implemented by Medical Simulation Centre, affiliated to Oman Medical Specialisations Board, aimed to qualify 10 resident doctors in ophthalmology. Activating the role of Tender Board in comprehensive development and cementing main principles that the board is based on, topped matters of meetings and training workshops it it implements in various civil institutions in the Sultanate. 
that was emphasized by His Excellency Dr. Rashid bin Asafi Al Harabi, Chairman of the Tender Board, at his meeting with members of National Youth Committee. It also contained a view of Tender Board laws, ways of registering and classifying companies, establishments, importers, and consultancy offices within the board system. The meeting also discussed the role of the board in supporting small and medium-sized enterprises and its achievements within the context of implementing decisions of Sheikh al-Shamikhat. The Sultanate's Special Force marked its annual day and the graduation of a new batch of recruits in the governorate of the Far. The ceremony was presided over by His Excellency General Sultan bin Mohammed and Nomani, Minister of Royal Office. It was attended by a number of their excellencies, the ministers, commanders of Sultan's armed forces, and a group of Sultan's special force affiliates. During the ceremony, the new graduates performed slow and fast military march, holding Sultan's special force flag and accompanied by music band of the Royal Guard of Oman. After that, prizes were presented to the toppers of the graduated batch, followed by graduates chanting the allegiance and cheering His Majesty the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces Life three times. Then the chief guest pinned the two medals of the excellent service and royal recognition to a number of Sultan's special force affiliates. The Royal Air Force of Oman honored the winning air bases in various Royal Air Force of Oman competitions and activities for the year 2014. That came during the annual cultural evening of the force, which also covered artistic exhibition of various exhibits, portraits, designs and inventions, which were created by various sections of the command and bases, in addition to students of Air Technical College and affiliates' children. It also included various items such as a visual show highlighting events and activities of the Royal Air Force of Oman during the last year, and a ceremony of the music band delivering poetry and operetta in the love of Qabus. The gathering was concluded by handing cups and shields to the winning bases and was presided over by Her Excellency Dr. Madiha bint Ahmed Ashebaniya, Minister of Education. The 15th meeting of Hydrography Committee of the Northern Indian Ocean was opened. It is being hosted by the Sultanate, represented in Omani National Hydrography Office of the Royal Navy of Oman, in cooperation with the Ministry of Transport and Communications. The three-day meeting discusses developments in that related to hydrographic services in the Northern Indian Ocean area and ways of developing hydrographic activities of the member countries, in addition to discussing annual hydrographic reports in the region. The meeting was presided over by Rear Admiral Abdullah bin Khamis al-Raisi, commander of the Royal Navy of Oman. Still to come in our news bulletin. The Sultanate wins the Asia Tent Pegging Cup at the conclusion of the International and Asian Tent Pegging Championship in India. of Oman Television. The Higher Committee of the Shura Council 8th term elections held its second meeting today. It was headed by Honorable Sheikh Khalid bin Rashid Al Manwari, Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Court, head of the committee. The meeting approved the circulars issued by the main committee of elections. It also discussed the appeals to be submitted to the committee and how they can be submitted by voters and candidates. It also reviewed all issues related to the work of the committee as per the Shura Council Members' Elections Law, promulgated by the Royal Decree No. 58, 2013. 
The Board of Directors of Public Authority for Craft Industries discussed during its first meeting of the year the project of eGate of the Authority. The meeting discusses plans and programs implemented in various fields of the craft sector and viewed the annual final statement of the Authority for the last year. The meeting was presided over by Her Excellency Sheikha Aisha bint Khalfan Asiya Bia, Chairperson of Public Authority for Craft Industries. His Excellency Yusuf bin Alawi bin Abdullah, Minister Responsible for Foreign Affairs, received an invitation from his counterpart, His Excellency Mohammed Jawad Tarif, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Iran, to attend the ministerial meeting of non-aligned movement due to be held in Tehran in June. The message was delivered to him by His Excellency Hussein Amir Abdullahian, Assistant to the Foreign Minister for Arab and African Affairs of Iran, who is on an official visit to the Sultanate. They also discussed aspects of cooperation between the two countries and exchanged points of view on regional and international issues of mutual concern. An Iranian delegation from Religions and Sects University of Iran visited Sharia Science College in Muscat and met a number of officials, academic and administrative staff. A memorandum of understanding was signed on exchanging members of teaching staff students exchange and conduct of a number of academic and scientific programs for both the college and university students. The delegation acquainted with distant educational programs offered by Sharia Science College of the Sultanate. The Sultanate won the Asia Tent Pegging Cup at the conclusion of the International and Asian Tent Pegging Championship hosted in New Delhi, India. The Sultanate won 14 international and Asian medals in this championship. The national team finished second internationally by 622.5 points behind the Sudanese team who collected 677 points, while the Indian team finished third with 586 points. In order to appreciate efforts exerted by the teacher and the importance of developing the noble message in various fields, a ceremony marking Teacher's Day was held at Sultan Qaboos Higher Centre for Culture and Sciences. The ceremony, which aimed to highlight the teacher's role, discussed education challenges and means of well-preparedness, in addition to teaching transmission from tradi traditional role to an education which develops thoughts and talents. It also focused on Islamic values, education and ethics, in addition to grant student sciences and knowledges which keep pace with requirements of times. It was presided over by His Excellency Habib bin Mohammed al riyami Secretary General of Sultan Qaboos Higher Centre for Culture and Sciences. The fishermen in the governorates of the Far, Worcester and South Sharqiyya continue to benefit from lobster fishing season, which will last for two months during March and April each year. The Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries Wealth enacted laws and regulations related to appropriate means of catching lobsters, locally known as sharqa. Catching lobsters is only allowed by using cages, so as to organise the fishing process and preserve the stock of this wealth. The total amount of the Sultanate's average lobster production reached to around 250 tonnes, worth 1.5 million Omani rials. These statistics show that the lobster production is decreasing due to the use of inappropriate fishing methods. The fisheries research centres are implementing a number of scientific researches and studies on lobsters to increase its stock. And now for the general weather forecast. Clear to partly cloudy skies will prevail over the northern parts of the Sultanate with rainfalls. Winds will be north to northeasterly light to moderate along the coasts of Sea of Oman, while it will be southerly to southeasterly light to moderate along the rest of the Sultanate. Seas along the coast will be slight to moderate to rough with a maximum wave height of 2 metres.
This is the Sultanat of Oman television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. The Ministry of Tourism signs a number of agreements with various banks working in the Sultanate to finance projects that acquired licenses from the Ministry. The Minister of Tourism reveals a plan to establish an office for conferences with the aim to attract international events to the Sultanate. And the third international conference for Arabic language and literature discusses at Sultan Qaboos University the modern criticism curricula and its applications in texts. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the newsroom and the studios, it's good night.